actually believe that the reason we talk about uh, the Amazonians having superb physiques, okay, a body like an Amazon, we say in the history books, is because they were, like the Mayans, consuming cocoa as the staple of their diet, which blossoms your entire innards, okay, to have an to have enhanced blood flow to all of your cells and oxygen uptake to all of your body day and night, okay, and the Mayans did this for hundreds of years, okay, and they were gorgeous, they were smoking hot, like you wouldn't believe, okay, and, um, I believe that's why, to this day, we still say, oh, someone has a body like an Amazonian, a body like an Amazon, okay, because they were that. Folks, all of these legends that you hear about, okay, they are rooted in certain degrees of truth, okay. When someone, when we today still say, oh, someone has a body like that of an Amazon, that is touching something so deep in the past history, okay, of the Mayan culture that consumed cocoa as the staple in their diet. And they were completely high, as you will, on maximum oxygen uptake and flow, blood flow through their entire bodies from the day that they were children until the day that they were fully mature. Plus, they would have, obviously, they naturally, they would have eaten their, their uh, tropical fruits on the side. But cocoa was the cat's meow for the Central American peoples for hundreds of years, okay? And it made them all supermodels, all extremely gorgeous physically from the day they were children until they were fully mature. So I'm inviting you to drink your daily God food, your cocoa powder, like the Mayans did for hundreds of years, okay? And amazingly, you will notice, you know, once, once you do that, that you crave other types of uh, foods that would have grown in that region as well, like bananas and pineapples, okay? And you'll never look back. You'll be on such paradise on the inside. You'll be hooked in, the, in a good way. All right. Well, I just love preaching truth and letting it out, okay? Because it's pure health to speak truth. Life is in the power of the tongue, the Bible says, and it's a pure pleasure to do this. And I can't stop saying, drink your daily cocoa powder. Take it seriously. And get gluten out of your diet. Because it is literally a mutant wheat that is a literal brain killer. It makes you drowsy and sluggish up here. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I love God. I love his revelations. I love food breakthroughs. I love happiness and joy. That's what God is leading me in. To drink uh, just larger and larger amounts of cocoa powder. It's not extreme. It's just, it's very simple. But it's literally like a staple in my diet. Okay? And uh, you'll never look back. Alright. And I can't wait. I literally can't wait to see what North America looks like when everyone is doing this. Because it makes everyone happier. And everyone more focused. And if they start on it from childhood in proper doses from the days of like their youth, they're also, everyone is more physically gorgeous and more physically beautiful their whole lives long, okay? And yes, you will live a longer life if you have this as a staple in your diet, okay? Mark my words. Um, alrighty, that's pretty good. I love talking about cocoa powder and God, which is God food, because it's so important for you to get in on. And, and, uh, folks, this stuff will change your life, because anything that dramatically changes your inner feelings day and night, and dramatically changes your, uh, your physical energy levels and your, uh, emotional condition day and night is good.
going to dramatically affect uh, the way that you live on this planet and even uh, the things that you promote and what God calls you into, okay, as a person. And it's going to be awesome. So I can't wait to see more people get in on their regular consumption of cocoa powder. In short, in, in short ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to see many more people on planet Earth, as many as possible, drinking God food, Theobroma cacao, cocoa powder with water, pure and natural, not Dutch processed, on in increasing levels, day and light, like the Mayans did, so that we have a way happier human family down here, like you wouldn't believe. Alrighty then. It's the closest food source that I know that takes you back to the level of God-blessed oxygen uptake that Adam and Eve's body cells enjoyed back in the Garden of Eden. Okay, and there's a host of evidence and logic for that statement, but I'm just going to leave it at that and for you to experience for yourself and never look back. So drink the stuff in heaping scoopfuls with water day and night whenever you want, whenever you feel like it. Enjoy the paradise. In my experience, you might even find yourself sleeping 